Hey, Daniel here from Together We Are Home. Uh, today we're going to start looking at doing a canopy build, uh, refit out. So sit back, enjoy, hopefully, and if you like, subscribe and look out for the rest of our videos. Here we go today. I'm going to start rebuilding this canopy since our Cape York trip. I haven't had the car back for two weeks because it's been getting some warranty work done on it. But now we've gutted out the canopy, I'm going to start out rebuild because the last setup didn't work. So, I'll show you the progress on how we're going to go with it. So the other reason why we stripped down this far is because a water tank actually got a hole in it and we couldn't use it. So I've had to get that repaired. So we'll be fitting that back up first, headboard back in, and then we'll start with the remodel. our 70 litre water tank back in it's a bit of a feat as you can see to get back in it's a tight fit and our sea flow pump all hooked up so we'll go ahead and start putting the headboard in now we're just feeding all the wires through back through it's a lot of stuff in this canopy and I'll go through it as as we get everything in and show you what everything does but um, yeah it's a lot of wiring behind there that we've got to resort out this wiring I need to take out because there's things I don't know longer need like we're taking one of the fridges out and putting it in the caravan so we're going back down to two fridges instead of three in this um, just give us a bit more room to do stuff so I'll keep you go keep it going doing now which I should have done before I did the headboard topping up the tank with water just to make sure that I've got no leaks because if I get this headboard in and it starts leaking I'm gonna have to pull everything apart again so do it right now oh we're waiting for that water to make sure it's not leaking a um, little bit about this canopy it's an extra Telstra body come off a Nissan Patrol um, so it's an actual full tray and canopy set up off of Nissan Patrol. That's why it sits so high up off the tray. <sighs> Originally I fitted in the um, leg holes. So we're using it as like a lift off camper. But on this trip we didn't bring the legs with us because just way too much. Um, and carrying the van as well. We didn't need them. So yeah, I picked this up from when I, where I used to work for 150 bucks. So good deal um, had to extend the brackets on the back to fit the 37s because um, I only used to fit 31s on it and that um, added the rooftop tent Kings solid lid rooftop tent to 350 watt solar panels so we've got 700 watts of solar on top uh, tube there is just holding fishing rods and that um, as we keep going through, um, I'll give you a bit more info on it. Checking, making sure there's no leaks coming from the pump. Look good so far, we'll see how we go. All good, no leaks. Let's go ahead and keep fitting this thing up. seen um, I just shoved all that wiring behind there at the moment because I've got extra wiring and stuff that I need to do so there's no point neatening it all up and cable tying it yet until we're right at the end so as I pass more wires and that through then it'll all get cable tied and neatened up behind and I'll show you that when it's all done I 
and it's a headboard set up all done now as i said before yeah i've got this canopy for 150 bucks um but it had nothing in it so all this stuff we had to do before so we did that before we left on our big trip and after going to cape york without the caravan and just living out of this for a month and a, a month and a bit um it really didn't work so that's why we're doing a redo before we keep heading across to western australia so we're here in darwin at the moment uh stopped here for a month or so before we head off in october again so got a chance to use a nice big shed to work in um thanks to our mates and we've been able to stay here as well Only in there as a mock-up at the moment. It's going to have to come back out again, um, so we can get all the um, get all the panels and everything in that we're going to build for the shelving, storage, and stuff like that. So at the moment, we're just mocking this in and have to get it out again. This next one mocked in. So this will be the actual. This is now getting moved over here um, and we'll get the freezer 95 litre freezer in on this side ready to put the next drawer slide in fridge slide so we'll get that one put in. Um, that one can stay in, it doesn't need to come out again. Um, but the other one will need to come out again. So we'll go from there. It's all fitted up now. Just making sure that it clears. Yep, all clears. All locks back into place. So that one's in spot and won't be coming back out again.
and then secure the washing machine to it. Okay. machine which is going to fit into this section here so we'll build this bracket out uh, line it with plate or wood and then uh, bolt the washing machine to it Bolt it in, bolt it down. Um, the only thing I've got to work out first is the back set for the washing machine. Now we're going to measure out the washing machine. here on this side. Hopefully we've still got enough room in here to get the hot water service. If not, we'll have to go on the other side. So the reason why we've gone overboard on this frame is because the washing machine, when it gets the spin cycle going, it shakes the living crap out of everything. So this time, I'm making it strong. And it will, it will end up shaking that way, which it's not going to move anywhere that going that way. Once we even put a board on it, it's going to even make it stronger again. Day two of the build. Um, let's see how we go today. We'll, we'll continue on now with uh, shelving and um, uprights and stuff like that and go from there Let's see if we got to get the hot water service in first where we're going to put that and continue right. more to come just, okay we've just mounted the hot water service um, probably a good spot to put it the only fact is there's only a 20 litre jerry can of ad blue and the generator going to be sitting on this slide so i'm going to still be able to get my hand in there and get to it if i need to adjust it so next job on this i haven't got parts yet but i've got to go get them is i need to put a duct on top of there and vent it outside uh, for the gas so that will be a bit later on, but we'll just keep fitting out what we need to fit from here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to make up the board bolt to this, and then we'll go from there. So there we go. So that's what that's going to look like. It's going to get some carpet over it, same colour as what's in the rest. I've got a little bit of that left over. So that will happen, make it look a bit neater, but we'll go from there. Okay, that's now in. Um, gonna have to get the truck outside now, because I need the floor. Start working out all my uprights, shelvings, stuff like that. Um, I need to get all them cut, so there's gonna be a lot of cutting um, back and forth at the moment. Um, so you won't really see much progress in this at the moment until I get all the pieces together and then once we get all the pieces together then we'll start the process again. So before I take the truck outside um, I'll give you a bit more 
on what's actually in here. Um, so up the top, which is also controlled from inside the control panel, is a winch, which I use to lower and raise my rear spare tires. As you can see, the winch cable there. Uh, the winch controller is up here, but it also has a remote. Um, six, 3,000 watt to 6,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. That runs our microwave, that runs anything that we really need to use on here in 240. Um, I've charged other people's cars off it. I've used toaster machines, you name it, coffee machine. Our coffee machine runs off it as well. Um, we don't run them all at the same time, but um, we haven't had an issue with it. It was uh, what, about 400 bucks off eBay. Um, that's just telling us what sort of power is in the actual batteries at the moment. They're not actually being used. They only get used when the canopy actually comes off. Um, that's what this switch here is for. So when I lock that on um, and disconnect the, the canopy from the car, the solar panels up the top actually charge this 200 watt amp hour um, lithium battery. Um, when it's actually connected to the car, the solar panels run straight into the DC to DC controller and all the red arc system inside the car. Um, so there's also another two um, lithium batteries in there, 135 amp hours each. So in total, when it's all connected, I've got 475 amp hours of battery. So we were running a Ingle 60 litre fridge here, which is now going into the caravan. Um, have an ever cool 95 litre fridge freezer, which I run there. And I've also got inside the car a Waco 28 litre between the seats that we run as uh, an extra fridge, uh, beer fridge, uh, drink fridge while we're driving, have our lunches and stuff like that in it, um, snacks, um, and that type of stuff. So that's in that part of it there. Um, also here, from this button here, you can turn on and off the actual inverter, so we don't have it running all the time. Um, USB sockets, 12 volt sockets, uh, water, water pump switch there, turns on the water pump which runs hot water service, runs out of here, runs our taps so I can have hot water running out of the tap as well as um, I can have the shower on the other side. Gas port's up here, which quick release gas port, that there switches our water on and off at the moment. Um, I'm not changing any of that stuff around, that's been working fine for us. Um, toggle switches up here which doors they turn on and off the lights um, they work really well actually um, and yeah our LED light system as I go through I'll go through a bit more but otherwise that side of it there is what's electrical in it at the moment um, there is extra wiring running out because we do run a travel buddy as well so that works really well. We use the, it's not an actual travel buddy, it's uh, the other brand, I think it's Chef Mate or something like that. Um, I've got it around the corner there. It's the larger version. So there we go. Now I'll take this truck out. There's our aluminium sheet. I'm gonna start um, getting that all together, cutting it up into what we need and go from there. Hopefully that you can see and you can hear me. Um, find out the camera there. So we'll give it a go. So as I probably said in the other video but can't hear, I'll cut it if I have to. Um, that's the first sheet we're gonna go with. It's 1200 by 2.4, 1.6 mil alloy. Um, I'm not worried about scratching it, marking it. Um, it's inside a canopy, it's a four wheel drive, it's gonna get scratched, it's gonna get uh, dirt, dirt, mud, whatever. Stuff gets rolled around in canopies, nothing stays nice. Um, you can think they can, but um, just fooling yourself. So we'll start with this sheet. Um, I'll start cutting this out, I do have a plan for it. So we'll go from there.
see now I've cut out all my sections. Um, now, this is not getting welded together because I need to be able to get it out if I have any other issues with tank or pumps or anything like that. So I'm going to be using alloy angle line and bolts, lock nuts and put them together that way. That way it can all be removed if needs to be. So I'm going to start doing the angle line brackets and then we'll go through and start putting it all together. So this is what it's going to sort of look like inside once we put it all inside so it's all just mocked up now ready to go in and put the shelf on top so next step is we'll cut out the shelf sort out the shelf for the top of it and then um, we'll get it all in get it all bolted up and secured go from there shelf all cut out ready to go in I'm going to slide this in there so we'll get that in and we'll go from here cable tied up now. It's as neat as it's going to get at the moment. Um, we'll get this all closed up and go from there.
all screwed in now, all bolted up. So now it's fitting up all the rest of the stuff. Uh, microwave, oven, coffee machine. Go around the other side. Washing machine brackets all fitted up. I think drawers, shelf. I've got to rebuild this drawer next. Um, might do that a bit later on. Get everything else buttoned up first, and I'll probably do that drawer last. Go from there. Okay. layout next I'll be doing the lid for it um, ovens in microwaves in draw for the coffee machine and then once we've done that I'll start plumbing up the hot water service and the gas for this and the hot water service as well so we'll go from there in so that um, when that comes on uh, showing 70 litres when the tank's full it will count down and let me know when the tank's getting empty so now I'm just in the middle I've got to plumb them up but I'll leave that until later so I still need to put the gas bottle on the back I'll get the slow load in once that's all done so now I'm starting on the other side starting to get the washing machine in so, I'll get the washing machine in there now and go from there.
everything's wired and plumbed up now. Uh, all the gas, water, no it doesn't look sightly but I've got two different gas lines running in there, one for the hot water service, one for the stove. Um, that runs outside. The barbecue bottle, I've just got a mate cover for it now. Um, everything else is wired up. Washing machine's all wired in. And that, bird is all wired up so everything works. Plumbing, uh, shower, shower's all sorted sitting there now. Shower head hooks in and that, so when the shower screen that hooks up on these hooks just there and drops down. So we'll start fitting everything in now, fridges and drawers and stuff like that. Thanks for watching our video. If you like, subscribe and watch out for part two. Thank you.